JPEG damage is a great filter for recreating the sort of um, interference or low quality um, compression that you might get in a JPEG image or a JPEG stream. Um, just dropping it on there, you can see how it degrades the quality of the picture and gives you that sort of blocky digital noise. Um, whenever I go into the effect editor, you can adjust the quality of the picture here with this slider and play with these different resolution factors to um, keyframe how good or how bad you want the picture to look. And um, you can really have some fun with this. Um, you can also go into your preset browser um, to get inspired. There are some good ideas in here for different things that you can do with JPEG damage. Um, and color blocks is kind of neat, crazy color, all sorts of really cool ones here. Um, instead of loading up a preset right now though, I'd like to show you an idea um, for a JPEG damage that I've done in the past and that is actually creating a fast forward effect. Um, I like using it as a digital fast forward effect. Traditionally in uh, tape based media, whenever you fast forward on a tape, you get those sort of black and white horizontal squiggly lines um, over your screen. But with, di with digital footage, it, does, it looks very different whenever you fast forward um, you know, your footage in a card. And if you do get any kind of interference, it certainly looks very different from the way it did in tape based media. So um, I've got some footage here and you can see I have it sped up. Um, and then slowing down. So I did this little speed ramp in the middle here. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put my JPEG damage in the filler here, add some edits, grab JPEG damage, drop it over, and open up my effect editor. And I'm actually gonna turn the quality all the way up. I'm gonna set it to a one. So the quality of the picture is, doesn't get affected. But um, scrolling down, I will bump up the error rate and the block density is what I'll is what I'll start playing with. So, if you change your block density, if you turn that down. Now we've only got these little stripes of jpeg damage. And you can determine how much of it you want and how strong it should look by playing with the error amp and error coherence. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Doesn't take much, but it sort of gives us a visual cue that our footage is being intentionally fast forwarded.